What is up, gang? We are going to be joined today by a bunch of our friends on the kayaks, y'all. It is going to be a good old time. We've got the Sportsman Models Man PDL 106 Autopilot 120. We're about to get out on the water before sunset and try and catch some bigs. It is 5.30 p.m. This place has got some giants in it. Every time I come here, I either get skunked or catch a couple small ones, though. That is the problem. I think there's going to be three or four of us on different boats tonight, so we're going to try and piece this thing, tear it apart, tear it apart. I got to go ahead and get these things unstrapped. This is the longest haul to the water since I've had these kayaks. This thing loaded up almost 200 pounds, so I might carry a couple things down separately. I also brought the landing gear, though, uh, the makeshift landing gear. It's kind of a cheaper set, but it gets the job done, man. Super stoked to have it at this spot for sure. I'm going to go ahead and get the stuff untangled and wait on uh, Charles, potentially Brandon, and then also Torrance to show up. Torrance is going to take over the pedal drive. I'm going to be on the motor-driven yak, and we're going to see if we can't find some bigs today. You've seen us in a lot of recent videos. We try and hit the bank, and I'm telling you, these fish are out deep down here in the Texas heat. And so I'm switching things up today. I'm probably going to go, if I don't do a Texas rig, I'm going to throw a jig. I'm going to tie on the mission fish, larger swim bait style bait. And what I'm going to do is focus on hitting some deeper waters. I don't have a graph on this jack just yet. I'm going too soon. But for now, we're going to see if we can't just identify where they might be schooling out deep and only hit the bank line focused on that in the evening, like right as it gets to sunset. We might try some top water for you guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So if you want to know the process of dropping this heavy kayak into the water from start to finish, it is 535. And I'm not going to be in any sort of rush here, but what I'm going to do is take it off the trailer, load it up, take it down to the water. We're going to see how long it takes to launch from this point right here. So let's go ahead and get going, you guys. Kill switch, remote, both needed for the motor-driven yak. Put my GoPro batteries in the dry storage. Underwater release GoPro I'm going to have under the seat. Yeah, so for us on this 12-foot trailer, I took the tailgate off because you can see when it would close, it could destroy this rudder, especially if you like, you know, you're starting to speed up or something. Yeah, that's just an uh, accident waiting to happen. And the thing is pushed all the way up to the front of the trailer here. The bona fides sit uh, nicely underneath there, which makes things easy. Not the case with these old towns. So took that off of there and I've just been relying on this one very thick cable wire lock to uh, hold the kayaks down going through the center of the units here. So I'm going to get this thing undone. Oh, this reminds me, I left my sunglasses at home. I'm just going to pick that up for whoever that was. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm going to try and bring it down elegantly onto the landing gear. And dude, this might be the best set of landing gear for this kayak just because this fin goes down the middle. I don't think it's going to fall off like our other kayaks. I could be wrong. Looks like it's sitting on there pretty nicely. This may be the best thing since sliced bread right here. Yo, now you got to be kidding me. I think it'll even turn with this one since that fin's down the middle without falling off. I'm going to test it right now. Let's see what happens. I figured it might happen. Got to be kidding. I think it's going to actually work. Well, if it may not fall, let's just go ahead and put all the stuff on it. Putting this box sideways. You guys probably saw me on uh, the Bonafides. I would always put it this way which I think is a little bit easier access to the rods, but for some reason, then they would hit the back of the seat. So I've been putting the box this away and I might try and find some more rod holders because I could put another three right here. I really like them being straight vertical as opposed to at an angle out of these ones. I think it's just a little bit more secure if you were to kind of brush up against something like a tree and those rods are at the back angle. I think it's a little bit easier for them to get swiped and go in the water like in a recent episode. So also Torrance, who's joining me tonight, he's had a, a one, if not two of his combos fall out of those before as he's like going to grab something or what have you. I don't know the exact reasoning. I'm sure he'll tell me when he gets here, but just, uh, yeah, just once again, I like the box. Go ahead and put the battery on the seat. I'm going to carry the motor with my rods down there separate. That way, if the thing does crash down off of the landing gear, I don't jeopardize it tipping over, breaking the rods and also messing up the motor there. I think I'll also bring the drone in its case. Where's right. Smith? Yeah, what's going on, man? How you doing? Holy shit. <laughs> what's your name? Matt Foster. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got a few buddies joining. Uh, we're going to tear this thing apart tonight. Let's see what happens. I figured it might happen. Me and, me and him go kayak fishing out here all the time. We've not caught shit. Yeah, shit I've been here. skunked like every time or caught. I've caught a couple once, but uh, maybe today's the day. All right, one's here. <laughs> Let's go grab the other. I guess that took 13 minutes, but to be fair, it's not fully loaded up. 
got to grab the motor got to get my rods and that's with landing gear i could have tried to pull that the whole way but trust me you don't want to have this thing loaded up and try and slide it all the way down to the spot for one you don't want to damage the hole so dragon it's not the best even though it does have a rubber piece on the very end the tail that way if you were to drag it across something like hard surfaces for a short amount of time you're fine it wants to lean too because that fin comes down in the middle and so that's always fun when it wants to tilt on you i'll see if i can find this set of like universal landing gear for you guys and put it in the description otherwise just scope out some options there's definitely some diy stuff you can do on the cheap because sets of landing gear can get very expensive so Florence, I might have to let you carry yours down to the water today, man. I'm freaking beat. Quit messing around. We got to get in there. Summertime. There's the man. I was going to say, will you actually take the spot in front of my truck in case someone decides to be rude and like takes that spot and then I can't get out later? Oh, yeah. I doubt it'll happen, but I'm just saying. Okay. Thank you. 25, 28 pounds. That's what the motor weighs, something like that. And then we got the good old combos, man. Uh, probably going to change some stuff up, but I got a frog, Texas rigged crawl underspin on the Guggen squad saucy swimmer i got the mission fish and i have a dragon drop drop shot so yeah rolling with this to start probably going to be re-rigging as i mentioned the stuff i wanted to throw today well we still got to set this up so it might actually take a little longer than 20 minutes put that on the motor there that then allows you to pull that down when you're ready to launch plug it in get the battery plugged in afterwards there goes that. By the way, if you guys watched my unboxing and first impressions video, you know this battery is not too cheap, but uh, my buddy Yak Pack told me that he got one for like 90 bucks from AutoZone. So just kind of like a general, I don't know what they said, like a marine battery from the store there for like 90 bucks. So there is alternatives. All right, battery should be live. Plug this in here. Awesome. All right, so we're sitting at an even 20 minutes, man. That's a deal, huh? Then be able to get out there, hit whatever spot you want on your uh, ponds and lakes. Gotta go grab the big camera and I think we're set. We've got a few kayaks we can roll in and stuff in that. That's better though. Oh, well this is like brand new to me. I mean, I'm used to just whatever. And then, yeah. and then Bonafide reached out and got us some and now this company. So yeah, we're trying to just bust my ass to <laughs> get opportunities like this <laughs> oh the swim bait is that a oh bro this caught have you heard of dotty like the like 19 or 22 pounder that was caught in california multiple times this caught i think i think she was the largest bass in the states wow. ever caught and uh for a while at least if not now and um this bait caught her mission fish jared down in austin you know jared he uh during summertime this is like his go-to swim bait so check it out i think this is seven inch and it's a line through i caught like a three pounder on it at the spot nice. and when i pulled it out the bait was up the line and so like you know they can't use the weight for the leverage and shit wow. but basically it's just like texas rig style it comes with this hook so you just yeah you feed the line it through comes and this is hook? yep and this is weighted this is supposed to be like the world's most advanced weedless swim bait so this is like weighted so it's just like a texas rig bro you fish it like a texas rig yes Weighted, weedless. We got three, and we're gonna order a bunch more. Yeah, I'm about to order some. Yeah, I'm the, we, the solid white is what they hit out. But I'm gonna test this one here. I'm gonna try and get me a little hoggy hoggy on this thing. Probably throw this for a while. Probably start with this. Super nice too. We out here. <laughs> got my kayak all wet. <laughs> Hand wash, man. I paid extra plus the tip. All right, y'all. We'll shut up and start fishing. All right, let's see what's up. It's either gonna beep or it's not gonna beep. It didn't beep. That means I gotta do something. Oh, you know what? I know why it didn't beep. I know why it didn't beep. No kill switch. Boom. Ha! Ah! Starting things off on the wall over here, just seeing if anything's grouped up by it. It is a, I mean, I think it's 10, 15 feet straight down, right? Even just here off the wall. Seven inch soft plastic swim bait. Uh, I'm not sure the weight on this thing, but it's got a pretty good weight to it and it takes a second for it to get to the bottom here. So I remember working this area the last few visits and uh, there was bluegill hanging out all along it, just kind of suspended a couple feet down. So I figured the bass probably hang out around here. I'm definitely in some thick stuff right here. I feel like I got somebody's line, not grass. This is interesting feeling. Yeah, wasn't wrong. Nice little tangle to start the dangle. In case y'all are wondering, that took about five minutes. Get this line out of here for whoever that was. All right, let's hit the deep stuff for a second. I'm gonna 
cast it over there shallow and I'm gonna try and work it through all the depths here because I know it's not too deep over there and then under me uh, I don't I don't remember what the depth is but I'm sure it's 20 or might even be more than 20 here I'm just gonna say 15 to 25 so I'm gonna work this thing through the grass the whole column essentially maybe that'll do the trick right there switched it over to the Texas rig kind of throwing on the edge of the grass here Switch over to the swim bait with the underspin, see what's up. This might do the trick, little flash. Swim that around the grass edge. I already tried the T-Rig, dropping it down. I don't know if they're in the mood for a crawl right here. Toss the frog. Okay, Torrent says he's throwing the fluke. Oh, there we go. There's some little bluegill. Here we go. This might be the ambush zone. First one to catch a fish here. Introducing the newest segment to the vlog, y'all. Summer tips with Weston Smith. Identify what the fish are eating. Hours later, sun sets, he gets off the water, no fish catches. That has been Summer Tips with Weston Smith. Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> hey look, y'all might not know this, but there was a bad storm last night. You know, it's got him thrown off. Normally it's crystal clear out here. It's got him thinking, I don't even know if I want to eat today. It's my line, dude. It's too, uh, they can see it. I should have brought that six pound, uh, six pound mono. My braid's not strong enough. I can't rip the frog through that grass right there, man. Forgot my glasses. <laughs> I can't, I can't. That's like pretty legitimate. You know, I want to cast right here where they're at, but dude, I can barely see. Oh my God, stability. This yak's got it. Look at this little point right here though. Gotta be something off that. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Amazon was the number one spender on Google AdWords ah, nice. when they were like more appropriately priced, but now Instagram ads and Facebook ads are, are better. It's complex, bro. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh! Well, fuh. Oh, bumper cars! Oh, shit! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta wake your friends up, you know. <laughs> Iceberg ahead! Manny! What's back here? Maybe some fish? Well, that was like my best skip ever. Where's my reward? Where's my reward bite? Oh, there's a turtle. He's gonna eat it. What a cast. <laughs> I joined in second. <laughs> It's Torrance Live. I'm just here. I gotta hit this dock. Check this out. You know, we don't even care out here. <laughs> Dude, what is happening right now? I gotta make sure I got that for TikTok. <laughs> now, quit imagining. <laughs>
Y'all know what works out here? Cause I can't catch. Yeah, I'm, I'm throwing a drop shot. Yeah, usually that's where I end up going getting fish is like back in that creek. I think we got on the water at like six. Uh, there's three of us and we haven't caught anything. <laughs> oh man, I've been, I've been trying to bust my ass just posting a bunch, you know? Thank you guys. Y'all too. We'll see you next time. Pretty good. I got nothing. How about y'all? <laughs> we got a lot of perch. Did you? We got one bass. Did you? Okay. Were you throwing the stuff for perch the whole time or no? Like, all right, well, we need to take up perch fishing, boys. <laughs> we need to get into the business because <laughs> them bass. Well, 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 Zeke. Another day aboard the SS Struggle Bus, man. Before you go saying Weston sucks and can't catch fish, just let me tell you, it's not just me. It's like all the people we talk to in the area. Uh, some places, of course, are fired up. Some places are not. But I mean, we go out with the gang every day. You've seen us, four or five kayaks in the water, and we are missing the boat here. Something's going on. The summertime Texas heat, no excuses, right? But it, I mean, it has really got them acting up after that storm that we just had recently. So, hey, it is what it is. We had a ton of fun regardless. I enjoy the creative side of things and actually just making a fun video for you guys, whether I catch the fish or not, uh, providing tips where I can, answering your questions when I can, telling you about that new yak when I can, and it's been a ton of fun, you guys. So I do hope you enjoyed tagging along for this one. I'm trying to crank it up with the B-roll and the edits and still bring you guys one video every day. That is my goal for y'all and for this channel uh, to provide some entertainment for you guys on a daily basis. With that being said, I'm going to feed the pups. It's getting late and we'll catch you guys on the next episode over here on the channel. Please subscribe and hit that like button and we'll see you then. Peace.